Berenti Reserve is located in the extreme southeast of Madagascar. The reserve is home to the well-known ring-tailed lemur and its diurnal relatives, the red-fronted brown lemur and the verox shifak. But Berent's forest is not only full of life during the day. At dusk, in the spiny forest, the nocturnal reddish grey mouse lemurs emerge from their sleeping sites. Although this species forages solitary, individuals may share the same sleeping hole with related individuals of the same sex or, but rarely, with individuals of the opposite sex. It is August, the end of the dry season. The mouse lemurs love to eat fruits, but unfortunately, it is not the fruiting season yet. They also have a big appetite for insect, but... Oh, oops! That one was an ant! It seems like they do not like ants. During the dry season, the mouse lemurs rely heavily on the secretion of an homopteran bug species called Flatida coccine. These insects feed on plant sap and excrete a sugary substance that the mouse lemurs go crazy for. They do not eat the insect though. They just lick the white sugary patches on the branches that the bugs leave behind. And to fill up their bellies, the mouse lemurs are always able to find gum from acacia trees and comifora trees. Perhaps it's not as delicious, but it has to make do. The end of the dry season is very exciting time for the mouse lemurs, since the mouse lemurs are seasonal breeders. By August, the males have grown back their dormant testes and also the genitals of the females start to change their color and shape. This is something the male finds very exciting. But like in most lemur species, Female mouse lemurs are dominant and rather aggressive towards the males. This is why approaching a female to inspect her reproductive status is a difficult task. The males try very hard to bribe the females with a cozy grooming session first. In early September, when the females are ready to mate, the mouse lemurs of the forest just go crazy. The estrus of female mouse lemurs only last one night. But during that one night, they really make the most out of it. The females become more tolerant towards the soliciting males. Females are even inviting the males with a special submissive posture, pointed backward ears and a curled up tail. A single female my mate with more than 15 different males and copulate more than 25 times during her night. It is a hell of a busy night, very exciting but also very exhausting. Now it's time for self-grooming. Anyway, if a female does not get pregnant or loses her baby, she will still have a second or even third chance to produce a litter because mouse lemurs are polyesterous which means they have the ability to have several estruses in single reproductive season. So, until the next mating then! <laughs>